Good afternoon everybody, Jeff at Cutter Masters. Today we're going to show you how to do a welded flat with our new um, chamfer uh, diamond wheel for producing uh, welded flats or grinding reduce necks. So we have the machine set up on our riser just to get it up above the tool. Then we just have a regular old 5C spin indexer. And we just have it shimmed to some random height so I'll be able to produce a flat. So we can just go back and forth like you would a surface grinding operation. And if you want the flat to be longer, you can just travel the motor um, uh, to, to produce a longer flat. The, the wheel comes with a 3 8 flat. So pretty straightforward. You don't have to go too fast. Um, just run the tool past the wheel. So DC motor, it's a large wheel so it'll slow down a little bit, but that's okay, it's still making a good cut. And there's your notch. In this case that notch is for uh, 3 8 If you want the notch to be for a half inch, then you can just move the table, bring it in 125 and go back through again, and then that'll make it for a half inch set screw. Generally the tip of the set screw is smaller than the diameter of the screw, so three eighths is probably good in most cases. And now we'll just clean up that other side a little bit. So the DC motor's got lots of power, so right now I'm spinning about 600 RPM, so the tool's not getting very hot, and I have a super accurate flat, so when I lock that tool into the tool holder, it stays where it's supposed to be instead of pulling out. Most carbide tools don't come with flats, so we thought this would be a handy addition.